What's going on guys, it's me, Fan 2016 here, and today, we have another model plane review for you guys. Today I'll be doing another double model plane review, as we have two Southwest Airlines Boeing 737-700s in the Maryland 1 livery. One of them is a heart livery, and the other is a candy blue tail. Super excited to dive down into another double model plane review. This is my second double model plane review on my channel. I think the last time I did one... Oh boy. Oh yeah, it might be one of those jet blue planes. So I think maybe it was that one. Maybe not. Not really quite sure. But here I am with another mall play review. So yeah, really nice to review some of these malls for you guys. Do want to like change things up a bit and do a double mall play review because basically these liveries are the same, but they're different tales. So just super excited to get into this. So without being said, let's get started with the box review. So without... Yeah, with that being said, let's just get started with a box review. I know I kind of said that repetitively, but let's get just let's just get started. That's all I meant to say. So let's get started with the box review. Okay, I'm not really quite sure which one goes first, but I think this goes first and the other one was last. There was supposed to be like a third one with the wardrobe mount function of a blue nose cone for Maryland one. That goes in the middle, but in chronological order, I think this is first and this one is last so i think this is what it looks like so yeah this is what's supposed to be looking like if you add like the blue nose cone the middle one right there then it'll like it will make up a very nice box design uh, the candy blue tail candy blue with a nose felt nose nose cone malfunction excuse me i think that's what i meant to say and then it also has the heart livery as well so i think i do want to start off with the canyon blue first so here is the box art for the canyon blue plane so as you can see Boeing 737-700 tiles right there. You got the CJ image of the aircraft. You got all the various Maryland 1 livery schemes. You got the Canyon Blue Southwest tail and the aircraft registration, November 214, Whiskey November. You got the Maryland 1 logo in like a very nice style back in what's in. So this is like the style when it had the Canyon Blue tail. So looks very nice. NG Miles logo right there, one for one scale, collectible miles, diecast smell, Boeing license product and all that. Here are the sides right there. Here's another side, part of like the Maryland 1 livery. Here's another side, and another part of the Maryland 1 livery along with the Kenya Blue livery. Here's the back side, so you got the NG logo, you got the Maryland 1 tiles once again. Item number of this model is 77006, and you got their social media pages right there, not sure if you can see them properly. You got the Boeing licensed product and the warning hazards right there. So that is the Canyon Blue box design. Now let's move on to the heart design, which is right here. So. It's really different compared to the Canyon Blue style, so you got, of course, the 737-700 tiles again, but this time it's painted in blue. You got the CGI image of the aircraft, you also got part of the Maryland 1 livery right there, and then you got the Southwest Heart logo right there, with the yellow, red, and blue right there. Southwest Airlines tiles with the Southwest Heart, of course, 214 Whiskey with November is the registration. You got the NG Malls logo, and then you got the current Maryland 1 tiles on this aircraft right now, so... It's different compared to the plane that had the Canyon Blue livery, but here it is. Boeing license product as per usual, and one for the scale diecast mall, and yeah, all that text. Here's the sides right here, of course looking very nice. It's all white, which I'm really quite surprised, so another difference between this box and the previous box. You got the back side, you got the NG logo right there, it's orange. And then you got the Maryland 1 tiles, warning hazards right there. All their social media is Boeing license product, and the item number of this mall is 77007. So yeah, those are the box arts for Maryland 1 right there. Looking very nice, and overall, I'm really proud on what NG did with these box arts. Especially when you combine them all together. Of course, when I added the middle one, it will make up a very nice box art for all these three aircrafts. Well, technically, I had two. But we do have these box arts right there, and NG did a great job on them. So, I think I'll start off with the heart livery first. I'll review the heart livery first, and then after that, I'll go for the Canyon Blue last. So with that being said, Let's start off with Maryland 1 and the heart tail. And here is Maryland 1 with the heart tail. Looking absolutely very nice from NG Models. And once again, really glad to have the state livery in my collection. And overall, NG did a wonderful job on creating this model right here. So this model came back all the way. This was released way back in the October 2021 release. So it's about like, oh boy, it's like, um... About two years old, kind of like two and a half years old, kind of. But yeah, this model is like two years old, so really fortunate to have her, like I said. So let's get started with the port side. So you got the cockpit windows right there, you got the L1 boring door and the Southwest heart. You got the Maryland 1 tiles right there, nose landing gear, and the nose landing gear door, excuse me, containing part of the registration, 214. 
you got the pita tubes and stack port details right there and then you got a nose shape so what i did notice is like the nose shape of this mold looks different so as you can see it kind of appears to be very like more pointier than the previous iteration they did so i do have my united 737 700 with me so as you can see let me try to like set her aside like this so as you can see the nose shape of this one kind of looks not as pointy as compared to the other one the maryland one but as you can see just by let me here let me like try to like put it in an angle where you guys can see so as you can see i think the maryland one looks has to be like i think it appears to have like a pointier nose shape i'm not sure if that's really accurate as compared to this one maybe this might have a better representation of the nose shape of the 737 but let me know if you guys agree so would you prefer this 737 700 with this nose or this 737 700 with this nose so let me know in the comments below so once again i'm not sure which one's really as accurate but i think it looks i think it looks okay that's all i can really say i think the nose represent the representation of the nose on this model is about okay i think it looks nice it might look a lot better kind of but i think probably looks a little bit too pointy so i think they converted back into this nose right here so let me just here we go so let me focus out on her again so i think they came back to this nose which i think it's reasonable for ng to do but i think this one has like a in my opinion i think one this this one has like a more better representation of the 737 nose i think this one's just a little bit too pointy but once again let me know in the comments on what you think of the nose on maryland one anyways so this is where the livery starts right here it's kind of like a coat of arms pattern some form of like yeah it's kind of like a, some it's a form of coat of arms this is like part of the maryland flag not sure what it really represents here but i do like the wave effect on this livery and NG Miles did a great job on representing that. You got your CFM 56-7B inches right there, along with your main landing gear, and there's your single emergency exit door. There's your top antenna right there, and then you got the Wi-Fi dome. I'll talk about the Wi-Fi dome in a little bit, but we're gonna be moving on to the wings as I pull out my camera like that. So here's the wings of the aircraft. So as you can see, you got your cold soul fuel frost right there. You got your emergency exit indicators right there. You got your flap track fairings, which I'm really impressed by this. So the flap track fairings on this livery are painted black. And Satwis is kind of like known to paint one of their flap track fairings on one of their special liveries. They have Nevada ones, flap track fairings painted blue. Uh, couldn't really think, maybe California one has red, I'm guessing, but really cool to see flap track fairing, flap track fairings excuse me painted black so that's really impressive of ng right there and that was to do here are the slats right there so here's your slat detail you got your flight spoiler details and ground spoiler details right there you got your flaps and then of course you got your wing lights the landing light right there and here's the winglet of the aircraft so these are blended winglets right there so really nice and well proportional for an ng mold so looking very nice Moving on to this side, so this is the second part of the Maryland flag. You can see like a checkered pattern of yellow and black, which is very nice. And NG, of course, still represents that really clearly. And I also love the wavy effect right there. You also got your bottom antennas, your bottom dual antennas right there. You got your L2 door, and then you got the aircraft registration, November 214, Whiskey November. You got your US flag right there on the dorsal fin. Moving on to the empennage area, you got your APU of the 737-700, and then you also got your horizontal stabilizers, and the beautiful Southwest Airlines tail, looking very nice, and yeah, very well represented here on this NG model, so yeah, very nice. And here's the front section of the plane, looking very nice, I love the engine fan blade details, although you can't really hardly see it, but it's there, but it is what it is. And moving on to the starboard section of the aircraft. Here is the starboard section, of, so of course you got your R doors right there. The Maryland one tiles, are they like red? Um, let me look. Okay, so actually it's different. So the port side shows that the Maryland, the Maryland one tiles are yellow, not yellow, they're white. But on this side, because the flag looks different, on this side, it's painted in red. The tiles are filled in with red. So that's really cool right there. And then I think that same goes for the registration because... The registration on the port side is yellow, but on the starboard it's black. So there's like different like different angles of the flag. So you got the starboard side. You also got a red engine right there. And of course you got your forward cargo bin. So here's one forward cargo bin right there. 
And then you got the aft cargo bin somewhere over there. You can't really hardly see it because of the delivery itself, but it is there from somewhere. Like, yeah, might be somewhere in between right there. Moving on to a top section of the aircraft. So here it is. So here's the top section of the aircraft looking very nice. I do love how the Wi-Fi dome has different colors. So on the port side, one half of it is yellow and the other half is black. So I, I, I like that feature on that livery. So very cool, they have different colors. That this livery has different colors of the Wi-Fi dome, so pretty cool right there. Moving on to the bottom section, of course, your typical bottom section. I like on how the air intakes are molded in into the model. You also got your, the hole where the main landing gear should be. And then you also got, huh, no Southwest heart. Quite interesting, I'm not sure if that's actually present in the actual livery, but not sure if NG did not place that as a mistake. Or maybe it wasn't they didn't look at it properly, but not really quite sure. But I'll let you know by text if the Southwest Heart is actually there. And if it's not, then this could be like perfectly perfectly accurate, maybe. Anyways, here's the front section of the aircraft. So here's the front section. I know I'm kind of blocking the tail, but looking very nice right there. And then moving on to the back section of the aircraft. Oh boy. Here is the back section of the plane right there. So yeah, overall I'm really impressed with this model, and yeah, NG models did hit a home run with this state livery right here. So I'm overall really glad to have a beautiful Maryland one in my collection, especially when it's from NG models because they're next generation. They make some great models and overall, I'm really impressed on this model. So yeah, a very nice model from NG. Now let's move on to the Canyon Blue tail version. And here's the Canyon Blue tail variant of Maryland one right here. So. It's pretty much the same thing as like what it is in the heart livery. However, there's some, there's like a few changes with this livery that I'll go into. So I'm not gonna go too much into the mold because I already reviewed the mold on the heart livery one. So I'll just point you the difference. So of course, well, I, well, I do want to mention that. Is it me or like the nose looks so different? Hmm. I'm not really quite sure. Let me put back heart livery Maryland one again. So let me just. Yeah, that's like a nose difference actually, so I don't know what's the deal here on why there's two different nose styles So one is like this this Maryland one and the Canyon blue while this one in the heart Louie looks so different I don't know. What's the deal here? Maybe they're just like experimenting with no shapes of the 737 700, but Yeah, that's actually quite interesting. I did not realize this but here it is so Two different nose shapes for Maryland one, so what a surprise right there. So anyway, so as I continue, so the main difference between the Canyon Blue variant is the Maryland one tiles. They're different, so as you can see, you can see Maryland one looks very different. It's kind of like a cursive style lettering for Maryland one. It's like a cursive style font, and then you got one right there. So there's Maryland one, the like Maryland one. So the one is kind of like a bit smaller compared to like. And it's facing, it's placed differently. The one is placed differently. Um, the difference is the second difference is I'm not sure what this is exactly. I'm not sure this has to, like deal with like the Wi-Fi decal, like free Wi-Fi on board sign right there. I'm not sure if that's present on this livery. I'm not sure. I haven't seen this plane up close when it was in the Canyon Blue Tail. And of course, everything's just pretty much the same. Everything like flap track rings are black. The livery is pretty much the same, but what the difference is, is the Canyon Blue Tail. Which I think NG Malls did a very nice job on representing the Canyon Blue Tail on this model right here. So, great job on that. And as I move on to the empennage area, of course, everything is still the same. Nothing to really go over with. Now as I put this aircraft into the top, as you can see, also the same, nothing to go over too much. The bottom looks pretty much the same as well. Front section. Pretty much the same and the back it's also the same as well so yeah very interesting model right here just like well i should not say very very interesting a couple times but a very nice model from ng models along with the heart livery and yeah a very nice uh very nice job from ng models on the canyon blue variant so very cool stuff right there from ng and yeah nothing really to go over like go over too much since it's literally the same thing the little it's just the same livery it's just the livery like the tail is just different that's what i meant to say but regardless enough the canyon blue version looks also nice and yeah a nice 
a nice model, I will say. But yeah, that's gonna do it for these two Maryland ones that I just reviewed, but we're not done yet. Let's go over the background information of this registration. So with that being said, let's get into the background information. Alright, now let's get into the background information of Maryland 1. The site was 737-700, registered November 214, Whiskey November. So let's start off with airfleets.net. So the manufacturer serial number is 32486. Line number of this aircraft is 1721. The age of this aircraft is 18.8 .8 years. The type is a 737-700 as per usual. The test registration for this aircraft is November 1786 Bravo. The production site is at the Renton, Washington plant and the airframe stat says that it is active and this was last updated on July 16, 2023. And as you can see by the remarks, fleet number 214, painted in the Maryland 1 titles or special livery, 2 CFM 56, delivered in June of 2005. So not much in history right there but that's all, the, all you need to know about this Maryland 1 livery, but yeah, very nice to see right there. The first flight date of this aircraft is May 20th of 2000, 2005. Once again, here's so CFM 56-7B24 engines as the aircraft type. I'm also looking at airfleets.net as well, so as you can see. Delivery date of this aircraft is June 7th of 2005. And yeah, once again, painted in the Maryland 1 livery. So, Kind of like a short description of the background information of this particular airframe, but regardless enough, it's a very nice livery regardless. Yeah, it's a very nice livery overall. And Southwest Airlines did a wonderful job on this aircraft right here. Very nice to see it, and we'd love to see it. So, and about the information of Maryland 1 for me, I did get to see this aircraft three times, I think. I, was it like three times? Or maybe it was like four times. The first time I see Maryland 1, was when she was in the Canyon Blue livery, so that's the reason why I have this mall because I did see her in the see her in the Canyon Blue livery back in June of 2021. So I know the picture is kind of like crappy, but here it is. But yeah, that's kind of like what I have when I take a photo on my iPhone. I think yeah, this was taken back on my iPhone 11 Pro, so not really the best picture overall. But it's it is what it is. That's all I can say. But I did get to see Maryland one of the Heart Louis for the first time back in February 2020s. Yeah, 2023. So here's that picture right there. This was actually the first time I seen her in the Heart Louis back in Sacramento International Airport, and I got a beautiful shot of her. I ended up getting to see her. Maybe it was like three times after that. So regardless enough, really proud of those photos, and I'm really glad to have Maryland one in the Heart Louis as well. So yeah, that's basically it for this mall review. So without being said. Let's get into the conclusion of this video. Alright, that's gonna do it for today's video. To conclude, this is a very nice model from NG Models and whether you like the Heart Livy or Canyon Blue, Maryland 1 looks absolutely beautiful. And yeah, Maryland 1 is another great addition to my state livery collection. And yeah, what an amazing model from NG. Although this model was released back in 2021, so we're kinda like working with two years since this model was released. So very nice to see from NG models right there and hopefully they can do more state liveries. In addition to that, I'm not sure if like Maryland 1 will ever be, like be repainted into the 800 but I mean the aircraft is 18.8 .8 years. This is kind of like a trend for Southwest as of now. They've been repainting their state liveries into 800s. We saw I think Triple Crown 1 and Lone Star 1 is about to get repainted into the heart liveries. I think as of this upload, maybe Triple Crown and Lone Star are are like already in 800s, but yeah, we've seen the 800s on Nevada, California, New Mexico, Tennessee, and Illinois. So maybe Maryland one might follow with this trend, but I'm not sure when that's gonna happen. But for now, we still have Maryland one on the 700, and I cannot complain too much from there. But I'm really glad to have the model in my collection. So yeah. Very well done, NG Models, and we'd love to see it from them. So, that's it for today's video, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on that post notification bell so you won't miss a video like this anytime soon. And don't forget to check out all my other model playing mon model playing on con- mon box, what am I saying? And don't forget to check out all my other model playing content by clicking on that playlist, and you can check out all my model planes from there from unboxings, reviews, and more. So, that's it for today's video. 
Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Anyways, good night.